super looking portable device is known as the Sinclair ZX81. The name is a cunning conglomeration of its inventor, Sir Clive Sinclair, its processor, a Zilog Z80, its year of birth, 1981, and the letter X, which is simply the most exciting letter in the alphabet. If you're watching this in America, the ZX81 is known as the Timex Sinclair 1000. Obviously, this is not nearly as exciting. At 28 years old, the ZX81 is probably starting to show its age a bit. <laughs> so we thought we'd drag it into the 21st century, stop using it as a doorstop, this is the future, chaps. <laughs> and get it to perform that most essential part of modern life, text messaging. The ZX81 has very simple connectivity. It has a TV aerial out, a bus connector, and two audio connectors, normally plugged into a cassette recorder. Since we couldn't be bothered to find an old cassette recorder to save our program to, we decided to remember it in our brains. Here's Dan loading the program from his brain using the patented typing interface. Let's run the program and see what happens. All you have to do is enter the number of the telephone you want to send your message to, followed by a text message of up to 140 characters, and press the new line key. Of course, you can also update your Twitter followers using the same technology. Your message is converted to a high-speed beeping sound, a bit like Morse code, but with gaps instead of dots. It is then sent through the audio cable to a machine that converts the sound back to bytes and forwards the payload to the mobile network. A few seconds later, our state-of-the-art mobile phone oh, yeah. receives the message. Oh, Imagine the convenience of being able to type your text messages into a wipe clean QWERTY keyboard. WDS Global do other, more practical things involving mobile phones and text messages that you can find out about at wdsglobal.com.